Hello, hello, welcome back. Uh, so what we're gonna talk about this time is endpoints. Uh, so Google Cloud endpoints. Uh, endpoints is a tool that you can use to make a JSON API. Uh, this JSON API can be used by any number of clients. Uh, it can be used by an iOS client. Uh, it can be used by an Android client, or it can also be used by a web client as well, right? So you can make a web app uh, that uses purely AJAX uh, for getting all of its data uh, and for sending all of its data back up to the server. There's pros and cons of this approach. Uh, I think the uh, the way we've been doing things like in general in this course has kind of been easier, uh, but there are definitely advantages to moving to AJAX. Also, most frameworks are moving in an AJAX direction, so it would be silly for me not to at least show you endpoints, uh, which is like App Engine solution to moving everything to AJAX. Uh, so let's talk about what we're gonna be making. Uh, so we're gonna be making movie quotes uh, at a photo bucket. I know you've seen like movie quotes a ton of times. Uh, maybe photo bucket was called Weatherpix before when you did it. Uh, but these are our data models you know pretty well. I know you might be getting kind of bored of movie quotes, um, but I use movie quotes whenever I just don't care what the object is, right? I just don't care. I wanna focus on something different. Uh, so I'm just using movie quotes again. Uh, let's do a little demo uh, of what these things are. Uh, so here's movie quotes. Uh, I guess what I really should have done is I should have let you watch the page load. Um, so this is my username, MQ hyphen endpoints. And so you can see that this is gonna use all endpoints. So you can actually see it when I refresh it. So you can see I refresh it. Um, and there was a moment there where there were no quotes, right? So there was no quotes uh, and then they filled up. You could show a loading screen during that time. I chose to just show like no movie quotes and then it filled up. And what that shows you is that shows you that the page loaded um, and then it had no data because it's a static page. It just used loaded a static page. Um, and then it has to go get data from the server and it has to display it. Uh, likewise, if you add quote, um, so I'm just gonna say test. Oh, uh, instead of type in test, I'll say uh, everything is awesome from the Lego movie. So the thing I want you to watch here is watch like the, uh, the tab bar up here. Um, and you'll notice that there was no page reload, right? So it just kind of showed up right there. Uh, same way that if I edit it, uh, so if I say just a bunch of exclamation points on here and I say update quote, um, you'll notice that the page didn't didn't do a full page refresh. Um, and so that's kind of neat. You also notice that like it left me in the edit mode uh, before it didn't leave you in the edit mode, it actually kicked you out. Uh, and that's because everything is happening with Ajax now. Um, and delete still works just like it did before, uh, except for there's no full page reload, you're still in edit mode. The other thing that's neat is if you look at my scroll bar here, you can see I've got around like 20 or 30 quotes on the page right now. Uh, and that's because I only chose to load 20 or 30. Um, and then if you watch the scroll bar really closely on the side, as soon as I get near the bottom, um, you can see it kind of says like more and then there's the end. Um, and then it just kind of loaded more. And that's because it did an Ajax request. Uh, so it actually uh, just did a call for more quotes. Um, and then as soon as I get to the bottom, uh, it just automatically loads more. So you notice I've got a more button here. That more button is just kind of like a, a backup plan in case for some reason my like automatic scroll thing didn't work uh, and it happens. Once you get to the end, uh, you can see there's only so many quotes in this. Uh, there's no longer a more button and it no longer loads more quotes. This style of loading things as they're needed is, is definitely how a lot of things work. And it's one of the real powers of Ajax. Uh, the lab you'll do uh, is, is very similar. It's just with photos instead of movie quotes, right? Um, for this one, just for giggles, I decided to make it to where it doesn't auto-reload when you get to the bottom. You actually have to click, like, load more photos, uh, and more photos will come in. Uh, you can see that we're going to load in some fake data for you just to make it easier to play with. Um, and these are all just Rolls-Holman related images. Uh, lots of little problems with the UI on this one, but I'm not going to bother fix any of it. Uh, it's the same as what you've done before, right? Um, the one difference you will notice is that both of these are using... Um, the Bootswatch paper uh, version of, of, of uh, Bootstrap. Uh, so they look a little different. They're blue, but they're not really that different. The other thing we're gonna learn about in this unit is how do you uh, test your APIs? Uh, so for example, we're gonna make a movie quotes API. Uh, there's gonna be methods for insert, which is for create and edit. Um, and what you can do is you can actually add things directly uh, from the API Explorer. So I'll just kind of type something in here. So API Explorer direct movie, uh, and then I'm gonna say execute uh, without OAuth because we don't need it. And you can kind of see like, hey, this did a post request uh, with to this URL with this body. Um, it gave a response with this information. Um, 
and then you can see that that actually is also saved like with the back end with everything else so this api explorer we use a lot as we're kind of like developing our back end uh, so that's the goal for this unit uh, hopefully you'll learn a lot about how endpoints works how to use json apis uh, and you'll build your own making like two relatively simple apps all right that's all we got this time i'll see you next time mm -hmm.